Okay, um, this is a, a subject where um, when we were talking about velocity ratios and mechanical advantage, I started to get a little bit confused about the two. Um, and velocity ratio and mechanical advantage uh, very similar terms, but um, they're different as well. So we need to make sure we understand what each one is. Now, with our velocity ratio, um, we're basically t talking about um, really um, the effort velocity, um, how quickly the effort arm is moving over um, the the load velocity. So we, we've, we've looked at VR and we know that uh, just to do a little bit of um, revision, um, velocity ratio VR, okay, is equal to distance of effort over distance of load. And we talked about all the different classes of levers. So if you um, don't know about that subject, you need to go back to those videos and look at those those videos. But this equation, distance effort over distance. No, now you might be saying, well, if it's a, if it's a velocity ratio, why are we only dealing with distance? And we talked about that, the fact that both of these arms, when they're moving um, as part of a seesaw, they're moving both over the same period of time. Um, obviously, if the fulcrum's moved away from the center, one will move faster or slower than the other, but the time is the same. So you can cancel the time out, and that's why the equation just deals with distance. Okay, But if you had two speeds of the effort arm, and the load arm, you could do it as a velocity ratio and that would work fine. So um, that's your velocity ratio question. And now we're um, going to be looking at two ideas. We're going to be looking at the idea of mechanical advantage and also efficiency. And they are related and there's equations that relate the two. So that's why we're, we're dealing with both those ideas at the same time. So the first thing you need to understand is that in an ideal world, um, a machine would have no losses and would be 100% efficient. And if that was the case, um, what that would mean basically is that um, a velocity ratio, and remember we're talking about velocity ratio before as really um, something that multiplies force. So you could think about this as VR is a force multiplier. or a diminisher. Okay, so if VR is greater than one, um, it's going to be a force multiplier. If it's less than one, it's gonna be a force diminisher. Okay, so that's the way of thinking about VR. Now, um, with a mechanical advantage, there's a formula for mechanical advantage that you should know, and that is MA is equal to force of load over force of effort. Let's make these all uppers. Okay, so force of load over force of effort. Now, this is one, one point in time where you can get a little bit confused. When we're calculating our velocity ratio, we use the distance of effort over the distance of load. But when we're, when we're calculating our mechanical advantage, it's force of load over force of effort. So it's almost like they're flipped, okay? So to explain that a little bit better, you could look at a class one lever, okay? Where the fulcrum is over this side, okay? So you've got, and this is our um, force of effort and this would be our force of load and you can see here that because our effort arm is larger than our um, load arm it's going to be a VR much greater than one so if I was to say this was 20 meters and we've done this in the last lesson and this was 5 meters we'd say VR is equal to the distance of the effort, which is equal to 20, over the distance of the load, which is five, and we get a VR of four. Okay, so that would basically mean that whatever force we put in, 
we're going to get four times as much out if the thing is 100% efficient. And we're going to talk about efficiency in a moment. So what we learned from that is basically what would happen was if I was to put in um, two newtons of force in, okay, what I would get out at the other end would be four times that and I would get eight newtons at the load, okay? And by um, looking at that equation, what we can actually do is we can say, if we look at our MA, we can say MA is equal, mechanical, mechanical advantage is equal to force load over force of effort, which is equal to eight over two, which is equal to four. So we can see that those two are equal, okay? And we might be saying to ourselves, well, if MA and V are equal, they're interchangeable. They're the same thing. And they are, but only in this very special case where our efficiency is 100%. So that's the first thing you need to remember, that you can say MA is equal to VR, velocity ratio, if um, efficiency is 100%. Okay, in other words, this simple machine loses no energy and heat, noise, etc., etc. Okay, so um, VR, VR and MA are interchangeable at 100%. Now, when the efficiency gets less than 100%, you start losing energy in this situation, your velocity ratio will not change. And the reason why your velocity ratio will not change is because the velocity ratio is all dependent on the distances, okay? And even if the efficiency goes down, are our distances going to change? No. This seesaw will still be 20 meters on this side and five meters on this side, even if the efficiency goes down. So velocity ratio remains the same, okay? Because it's dependent upon distance. That's the first thing you need to get your head around, okay? Velocity ratio is not going to change if the efficiency goes below 100%. But what will change is your mechanical advantage, okay? So um, whenever your efficiency dips below 100%, MA is going to go down, VR is going to stay the same. So that's the first thing you need to get your head around, okay? So we need to get our head around the fact that we're looking at our load force rather than our effort force um, in this equation. So these two equations, here, VR is equal to distance effort over distance load, and MA is equal to force load over force effort. You need to make sure you sit down and really think about it, okay? Now, your force load has to be on top because um, it's going to be increasing, okay? So that's something to get your head around, okay? So that's the first thing you need to know. So now you might be saying to yourself, well, what are some equations for efficiency, okay? Now I'm gonna get um, you to pause the video right now so hit pause, and I think you might want to write down this information here, okay? Equations for velocity ratio, which is really um, the speed of the effort arm of the speed of the load arm, but we do it as distances, because like I said, the time is um, cancelled out, and our mechanical advantage, okay? And this equation here is also important to remember, that MA is equal to VR if and only if the efficiency is 100%, okay? And a lot of questions will give you 100% efficiency, and they'll ask you to calculate me mechanical advantage or velocity ratio. And if, you, if you've got a velocity ratio and you know your efficiency is 100%, it'll be the same, okay? So that's something you need to make sure that you get your head around, okay? So I'd get you to write that down now, and we're going to have a go at looking at what efficiency is now. So a little bit of physics now. Now, efficiency is um, indicated by a Greek letter, okay? And the Greek letter that we use is eta, okay? So we can say, um, for efficiency, which is this letter, eta, in the Greek alphabet, okay? Looks a bit like an N, um, is equal to Eta is equal to work out. So that's going to be work is measured as joules, it's energy. 
over work in, okay? In other words, energy in and energy, sorry, I've got that around the wrong way, energy out over energy in, okay? And so we also know from, if, we, um, if we're physics students, that um, that's equal to force of the load, because that's the um, energy out, by the distance the load travels, because force by distance is equal to work, because work equals force times distance, okay? So that's the first thing you need to know, and that's over um, our force of effort times our distance of effort, okay? So we're heading towards an equation here because does force load over force effort look like any equation that we have on the board? Yes, it does. It looks like our MA, okay? And distance load over distance effort, does that look like anything? on the board. Yes it does, but it looks like this. But you'll notice that it's the inverse, okay? It's the reciprocal of our velocity ratio. So you end up with MA, because this is MA, times 1 over VR, because this is the reciprocal of velocity ratio. And so we get to a final equation of, and I'm going to put it um, underneath, um, efficiency eta is equal to MA, that's mechanical advantage, over velocity ratio. And if you want it as a percentage, you would times it by 100. Okay? Because anything you want as a percentage, you times by 100. And that is our equation that we want to make sure we burn into our memory. And I remember this one for all the people that go to Rosebank College um, by remembering um, the mathematics teacher that used to teach engineering, Mr. Mavrosakis, okay? Mavra, MA over VR, efficiency, okay? So um, that's how we get to our efficiency and that's how it's derived. Now. It'd be really good if you could remember how the if the things are derived, and you certainly should remember that efficiency is about work out over work in. So basically, what happens here is, if our MA and our VR are equal, okay, we get um, a one here times a hundred will give you hundred percent efficiency. So um, MA is equal to VR if efficiency is hundred. As soon as we start dropping our efficiency down, okay, what that means is our mechanical advantage starts to go down, okay because our velocity ratio always remains the same because velocity ratio is determined by distances. They're not gonna change when the efficiency changes when you lose energy, okay? That's what you need to remember. So it, once you get start getting a uh, mechanical advantage less than your velocity ratio, what that will mean is that the force out is not gonna be as high as our velocity ratio. And later on, you're going to be doing questions that involve all of these ideas. And unless you understand these ideas, you will start to make errors, okay? Like I did when I was first learning this, okay? So what have we learned from this? We know that there's an equation for velocity ratio, which we learned previously. We've learned our equation for mechanical advantages, which is about force load over force effort. You should be um, remembering both those equations. You should remember the fact that um, mechanical advantage and velocity ratio are equal only if you have 100% efficiency and that as soon as the efficiency starts to drop you will end up with um, a mechanical advantage that's less than the velocity ratio but the velocity ratio will not change. So um, I know this is a long video but for the, for the benefit of this video what I might do is we might actually um, write a few of those points down. So pause the video now and uh, make sure that you've got the derivation of that formula because um, it will help you in the long run. 
Okay, so let's write down a few of these points, okay? Um, and a few of these formulas. So we can write eta equals efficiency, ma equals mechanical advantage, vr equals velocity ratio, and vr equals ma if and only if eta, the efficiency, is equal to 100%. Okay, that's the um, thing you need to remember. And then you can write as a little note here, if eta is less than 100%, then ma is less than the velocity ratio, okay? So the velocity ratio stays the same because, because why? Velocity ratio is about distances, okay? So distances don't change when the efficiency goes down. Okay, so because VR is dependent on distance, not on forces. So you need to remember that. Okay, VR equals MA for 100% efficiency. I know I'm going on and on about it and um, that it's not going to change. The thing that will change with the change in efficiency is our mechanical advantage and also a nice way of remembering what efficiency is equal to is really work out over work in, okay? So if I've got 100% efficiency, I might have 100 joules out and 100 joules in, okay? When I suddenly get um, less than um, energy out of the system because the efficiency is less than 100%, I might get, um, say, 90 over 100, okay? So that's equal to 9 over 10 or 0 0.9. When I multiply that by 100, I get 90%. Okay, so if I lose um, 10 joules at the output, I have 90% efficiency. Um, my velocity ratio won't change, but my mechanical advantage will go down, okay? Because I'll be getting less force out because of that loss of energy. So um, I'm hoping that all um, helps you understand. Pause the video if you need to, and think about um, these ideas. Velocity ratios is about distances, um, distance effort over distance load and mechanical advantage is about for force load over force effort. Okay, We'll do lots of examples and um, hopefully by the end of all this you'll be a ninja at this. See you next lesson.